And we do have late word this afternoon. There's new information coming in on the tragedy we all woke up to this morning. The man who police say shot and killed eight people overnight at a FedEx facility near the airport in Indianapolis is a former employee and he killed himself after his killing spree. It happened at the FedEx warehouse right near the airport. President Joe Biden has now been briefed on the matter and the White House is once again calling on Congress to act. We have more now. ABC News. I heard 10 shots from near the front of the entrance. In Indianapolis overnight, eight people shot and killed, several others wounded at a FedEx ground warehouse near the airport. More shots went off. Somebody went behind their car to the trunk and got another and got another gun and then I saw one body on the floor. We're told around 100 workers were on duty when the shots rang out. Officials say the gunfire started in the parking lot and continued at the building, adding that the massacre was over in a matter of minutes. An internal briefing from the Department of Homeland Security says this facility is the second largest FedEx Express hub in the world. The gunman dying by suicide, according to police. This suspect came to the facility, and when he came there, he... Uh, he got out of his car and pretty quickly started some random shooting outside the facility. The deadly rampage comes less than a month after 10 innocent shoppers lost their lives after a gunman fired on a grocery store in Colorado and after a shooting spree at several Asian spas in Atlanta that killed eight. The White House calling for immediate action and gun reform from Congress. There is a responsibility and a role for the Senate to play. Vice President Kamala Harris reiterating the calls for change. There is no question that this violence must end, and we are thinking of the families that lost their loved ones. Back in Indiana, a community mourns, grappling with how an explosion of violence like this could happen to them. What we are left with this morning is grief. The mayor of Indianapolis speaking right there. The Gun Violence Archive says 147 mass shootings have happened so far this year. Their definition of a mass shooting is a minimum of four gunshot victims.